Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and oh man, it has been a long time since I've done a collection video on this book series and I have a huge update on them as the years went by. I know it's been so long, but I have them here now and some new books came in along the way. It took a long time, but here they are. The last time I did a book collection video was with all of Dave Pilkey's books here that I showed you guys. Now, I know there were some books I'm still missing here, but I will collect them when I get the chance to. But for right now, we're going to focus on all my Aaron Hunter book collections right here. So what I'm going to do is I know Warriors was first, but I'm going to start off with the other series here so I can get those out of the way. I'm going to start off with Seekers and Survivors. I'm going to bring them here. And I'll go over them. So I'll start with Seekers since this is a smaller stack. So I have the first series for Seekers, which is The Quest Begins, Great Bear Lake, Smoke Mountain, The Last Wilderness, Fire in the Sky, and Spirits in the Stars. So that's Seekers. And then for survivors, I have I have the empty city, a hidden enemy, darkest darkness falls, the broken path, the endless lake, and storm of dogs. And then for the second series, the gathering darkness, I collected quite a few. I have a pack divided, death of night, into the shadows. Red Moon Rising and The Exile's Journey. I'm just missing book six of this series. And that is, those are my Seekers and Survivors book. Yeah, Seekers and Survivors books. Now I'm gonna move them over here and then bring these over here. Now off to dun, 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 Warriors. So I'll start off with the first series. I'm gonna bring it here. Whoops, did it again. All right, so we have Into the Wild, book one. I'll try and keep the shadow away. Fire and Ice, book two. Forest of Secrets, book three. Rising Storm, book four. A Dangerous Path, book five. My favorite cover, by the way. And The Darkest Hour, book six. I'm looking to, I should collect the old covers and do a video on having the old and new covers for these books. But that might not happen till the future when I have the space to actually do it. <laughs> but I'm thinking about listing these on eBay and selling them and getting newer, like fresh, clean copies. But I shouldn't do it, but I feel like I, that's something I would like to do in the future. But anyways, enough time wasted. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go at a bit of a faster pace here with all these books, because I know you guys don't want to hear me rambling and going slow the whole time. All right, so we have the series, the second series, the New Prophecy, which was, uh, it was my least favorite out of all of the books. And the first series is my number one favorite. But anyways, the new prophecy series. We have Midnight, um, book one. Moonrise, book two. Dawn, book three. Starlight, book four, my favorite in the series. Twilight, book five. Actually, this one's my favorite in the series. And Sunset, book six. And my favorite cover. And that is the new prophecy. And now for the power of three. I feel that they named this series, the third series power of three because it's series number three. Um, but I don't know, it's just something I thought of. So anyways, move these over. Okay. 
All right, so The Sight, book one, my favorite book and favorite cover. The Dark River, or Dark River without the the, book two. Outcast, book three. Eclipse, book four, my second favorite cover. Long Shadows, book five. Sunrise, book six, my third favorite color in the series. Or cover, I said color. Uh, so that is Power of Three. Now for book four, or series number four, which is my, I like this one more than the new prophecy. Anyways, we have book series number four, Omen of the Stars. The Fourth Apprentice, book one. Fading Echoes, book two. Night, wi Night Whispers, book three. The Sign of the Moon, book four. The Forgotten Warrior, book five. And then The Last Hope, book six. Which, if for those of you who have not read this book yet, you know, once you, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's, it blew, kind of blew me away when I read this one. And then I stopped reading the series for a while. And then I kind of picked it back up. Now for Dawn of the Clans series. This is the fifth series. And if I can, hold on. Okay, now I can go over them. These are all hard covers because I really like the covers of the hard covers because it's the old cover. All right. So, without that being said, the Sun Trail hardcover, Thunder Rising hardcover, the First Battle hardcover, the Blazing Star hardcover, a Forest Divided hardcover and the Path of Stars hardcover with a poster inside. So here is the poster. It's a map of the, for the book. And then each side is just the, um, just the info on the map. Hold on. All right, sorry about that again. I had to stack them nicely. Um, I sincerely apologize, guys. It took me a, I took a few extra seconds than that's than um I normally do to stack these books because I just heard a loud gunshot in my neighborhood. Uh, hopefully it's nothing bad. But anyways, I didn't mean to worry you guys. So with that being said, here is the tallest stack. In fact, the longest stack for the Warrior series. Super editions. Ta-da! We're finally we're more than halfway there, so don't worry, guys. Okay. So, Super Editions, we have Firestar's Quest. Blue Star's Prophecy. With an exclusive manga at the end of the book. At the very end of it. Show that again. Sky Clan's Destiny. Crooked Star's Promise. Good book, by the way. Another manga exclusive. And here. Yellow Fang's Secret. And another manga. I like showing the mangas at the back so that you guys can see them. 
just so that in case you guys collect these books, then you know where to find them. Always at the end of the book. Tall Star's Revenge, which I have not even read this book yet, and I collected it anyways. Another manga exclusive. And then here's one of the newer ones, Crow Feathers Trial, with no title on it. Exclusive manga. Oh, did it at the page that I grabbed it at. And then here's Squirrel Flight's Hope, a very bright colored one. Then I have to find the newer super editions that are out there. All right. Now this is gonna be, next one's gonna be pretty fast. Here's all the mangas. So here's The Lost Warrior, Warrior's Refuge, and Warrior's Return. That's the first one. And then Rise of Scourge, which my favorite one, by the way. And then next, Tiger Star and Sasha, we have Into the Woods, Escape from the Forest, and Return to the Clans. Sorry, I'm not trying to rush. Then we have River Paws Path, a shattered, shattered Piece, A Clan in Need, The Heart of a Warrior. This is a, a three-in-one manga. And I was hoping to get the individual ones, but this color one was all that they had at the store. Now, next is uh, Sky Clan and the Stranger, and The Rescue, Beyond the Code, and After the Flood. And then these next three are all like one entire manga. They're not three ones. And these are all the graphic novel edition ones. This is A Shadow in River Clan, Winds of Change, and Exile from Shadow Clan. And that is all the mangas here. I'll try and put them. Well, they didn't stay, but those are all the mangas. And then for the next series, Vision of Shadows, we have The Apprentice's Quest, which is all beat up, by the way. I don't know if you can tell. But anyways, Vision of Shadows, The Apprentice's Quest, Thunder and Shadow, Shattered Sky, Darkest Night, River of Fire, and The Raging Storm, which I really like this cover. I just need to get back on track and read these again. I might have to start all over, but it'll be worth it at the end. So then next is The Broken Code, which I have all the books here. They're practically still brand new looking. Hopefully they'll stay that way. But here we go. So The Broken Code. We have Lost Stars. Actually, let me move these over here so that's not... That way it's not too distracting. So we have Lost Stars, Silent Thaw, Veal of Shadows, goes the other way. Darkness Within, The Place of No Stars, and A Light in the Mist. These are all... I heard that these are really good books. I'm really looking forward to reading them when I get the chance to. And then for the next series, which is A Starless Clan, all I have is River and Sky. And uh, I don't even, I don't know if they're going to keep writing more and more books, the Aaron Hunter authors. And so that is A Starless Clan, River and Sky. And I have them both hardcovers. And then finally for Warriors, we have these, these guidebooks. We have Code of the Clans, Battles of the Clans, and the Ultimate Guide, which I'm looking forward to reading. Oh, and this one has a game inside, Adventures Game. I think it's at the back. Yeah, it is. It starts on page. Hang on, guys. Bear with me. So there's the conclusion on page 159. And then when you flip the page over, that's the Adventure Game in the Battles of the Clans book. I just need to find these two books cats of the clans and secrets of the clans and then i need to find all those um novella books and 
that box belongs over here. So that is it. All right, guys, that is my my Aaron Hunter book collection. And I know for a fact that this is going to get updated again in the future when I find more books of those. And I'll also have an update in the future for the Dave Pilkey, you know, Dogman and Captain Underpants books. And I'm looking forward to trying to find Cat Kid, Cat Kid too, but that time will come when I can. But anyways, that is what I have for you today, guys. And if you can, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And I also have my other channel, Multi Entertainment, which I might post this book collection over there as well. But anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe. And, and if you're watching this on my main channel, I'm going to have the link in the description box down below for you to describe, subscribe to Multi Entertainment. And stay tuned for my next future videos, guys. Bye now.